Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is Pastor Covington. And once again, this is uh, the latest edition of Conversations with Covington. Welcome to each and every one of you. I hope you're having a good day. In fact, this is the day the Lord has made and we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Well, you do know that we are late in the political season of 2024. Uh, time is drawing nigh. Uh, I know that you have either already voted, hopefully, or you will vote because November the 5th is upon us. And today, I have the special privilege and I'm excited to interview uh, Sister Carissa Graves Hendrick, uh, whom I've known for quite a while, but you're gonna get to know, and uh, I want you to consider giving her your vote. Well, uh, come and go with me uh, as we share a time together with Sister Carissa Graves Henry. Hello, Carissa. God Hello, bless Pastor you. How are you Kevin. doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, and welcome Thank you. to Conversations with Covington. Thank you. Who is Carissa Graves? Ooh, who's Carissa? <laughs> so, uh, I'm just your everyday person here in this county. My name, of course, is Carissa Graves, and I heard you refer to me as Carissa Graves Henry, which some people do know me as both. I am married to Reverend Dr. John Henry, and I have a beautiful daughter. I'm a married lady, and I serve as a first lady, but I also serve as a member in this church at Ebenezer. Um, been in the county here now for 24 years and, and love serving the community and the church. Okay. And you are running for what position? I am running for county commissioner here in Alamance County. All right. Now, is, uh, tell us about your political background. Okay. So my political background started about 16 years ago. Uh, I'm actually formerly the mayor in Green Level, mayor pro tem, as well as a council member. About 16 years ago, uh, one of the citizens came knocking at my door right before election and asked me, would I run for a council, a town council member, to be a town council member? And and I was thinking, no, <laughs> I'm not really, you know, like most politicians, um, they don't really feel like they have been politicians their whole life. And I didn't feel like I was a politician, but he saw something in me that he felt was uh, needed in the political arena. And that's where it started. He asked me to run as a write in. It was about seven or eight candidates in that race. And um, and then I said, well, how do we do this in a week? Because it was about a week before election. And he said, we just go around. We talk to the people. Uh, before the end of the day, I had about four or five people knocking at my door and saying, we need you to run. We need you to run. And that's how my political career got started. So we ran. Um, I actually ended up in, with the most votes in the um, town of Green Level. And it went from there. I won. Uh, I served three terms, a total of 12 years, and uh, became the mayor pro tem, the financial officer, and then also um, the mayor. All right. Now, uh, in terms of your education, tell us a little bit about your education. So um, going back to uh, you know, school in general, I grew up on public schools in Chesapeake, Virginia. Uh, that's where I was born and raised. And then I went on to North Carolina A&T State University, where I got a degree in mechanical and aerospace engineering. Um, I have a JD from Florida Coastal School of Law, graduated from there and then received a master's in accounting. And now I just finished all my classwork for my doctorate um, on, in business administration. And so I'm working on my dissertation at this time. And you are a business owner. I am a business owner. I'm a 20 year business owner here in Alamance County. Um, I have a, uh, I'm a tax accountant. I started out with a combination of multiple services to help people in the community, whether it was writing a simple letter, whether it was helping them with some programs, um, and of course taxes. And since then it has narrowed down to just tax accountant. And, uh, yeah, I enjoy that being a business owner. And you also are a landowner. I am a property owner. I do have rental properties here in Alamance County. I start buying properties maybe, well, I think it was 18 years ago, and uh, and one after another just kept purchasing homes. And so well, I am a landlord. Beautiful. I want to say that because I want to make sure people know that you are invested in the county. So now let's let's speed things up and get to the present. Okay. We're in the political season. You're running for county commissioner. Yes. Why? Because I think there's a need. And in this county, um, 
I, when I served in Green Level, I saw a need then okay. to serve on a bigger level. After leaving Green Level, um, after finishing my terms there, I no longer lived in Green Level, so I'm now in the county, and I figured I could still serve in the same capacity, helping with the building of the community. Um, but it's also a need for diversity in the commission, on the Board of Commissioners. Um, a lot of people ask me what role would I run for next, and I, I, I said, well, I don't know, I don't know. And I saw this was most fitting for me to be able to make sound decisions, not only to affect me, but everyone in the county. I think that was one of the things I thrived on in Green Level. I was able to hear what the people of the community needed, and I think I'll be able to do the same thing as county commissioner. There are concerns that we all share, obviously, um, the school, you know, having public uh, schools funded properly and things like that. But there's so many infrastructure things from small businesses, um, helping the homeless. I think I'll be able to serve and and be a good ear as well as a good voice for things that are needed in this community. Okay. What is your why? My why? Well, my I have several whys, but I would say my first why is Public schools. I, you know, it. I used to teach in Alamance Burlington school system. I taught at Broadview for two years as a seventh grade math teacher, and um, that was years ago. And I saw things that were not up to par back then. But now I have a four year old, and uh, she's about to go to school. And so um, when I started looking at the schools, you know, there, you know, what options that we have and. And are they adequate for, um, you know, for my child? It really became imperative that this is important, not just for my child and the future of her, but all the kids here in this county that we really look at these schools. So somewhat personal, but at the same time, it made me look at all the kids and the needs that are for the kids in this county. So besides public education and making sure that we have appropriate, well-funded public education that gives the, the outcomes that our students are learning and our teachers are well paid. That's right. What are some other what are some other issues besides public education that you're so sort of centering your campaign on? Well, just um, we're we're a growing county and there's a lot of things that we can do. There's a lot of things that are growing around us or the outskirts. I'm going to say Orange County, Orange County, Gifford County. They're growing. So we're going to be growing, too. I want to be part of that. I want to be part of that growth. Um, and making decisions that make sense, having our zoning so that, you know, having things in place so that we can properly grow the way we need to. Um, this campaign is a difficult one because we are the underdogs sometimes, you know, as a Democrat. I am a proud Democrat, but I am a person for the people. It's, the campaign is going good. I mean, we're getting out. We're seeing, and I say we, I'm seeing my um, my crew of people as well as the other candidates that um, colleague candidates, candidates that are running. We're getting out and we're getting the word out as best we can. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, there's some challenges. There's some areas that we were not able to reach and hopefully we'll reach them in the next few days. Hopefully this will help because I think my, besides my academic background, which puts me in a good place for this position, I think my personality as well as my ability to hear all, you know, to be a person for all people, I think that's what we need. We need someone who's not so left or so right that they can't hear the needs of the people. One of the things I pride myself on is being able to understand both sides. I don't know if that's my law school background. I don't know if that's uh, just, you know, being sensitive to people's need. So why me? I think that I have the knowledge, the experience, um, the progressive thoughts to move forward um, in this county the way that people in the county want it to move. Okay, so you don't see yourself as an extremist? Boy. I don't. I don't. I mean, I'm a proud Democrat. However, I'm not an extremist. I, I have the ability to see everyone's point of view. And when you're dealing with people, um, diversity is necessary. You need to be able to see all sides of the uh, spectrum or whatever, you know. No, I don't think besides sure besides uh, your personal business and you talk about your marriage and your education, what uh, groups are you a part of in terms of community groups or councils or boards? OK, so I'm a member of the NAACP, uh, former member of the National Council of Negro Women, 
um, where I served as a state treasurer for there. I am also, I serve on a board here at Ebenezer. I'm on the board of directors and the finance committee. Um, but prior to that, I was part of Alamance County Transportation Authority. I was on that board for about eight years. Um, I've worked on the vision board for Alamance County. I have worked um, in the um, Piedmont Triad Regional Council, excuse me, and um, several organizations. And so, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, wonderful. Great, 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 great. All right. So I want to make sure that we cover all of our bases because I want people to know you. Okay. Uh, because that's one of the things people are using against uh, 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 Vice President Harris. They don't know her. So they like, they like to know more about her. So I want to make sure that those who may not know you as well know some basic information in terms of your alignments, your affiliations, your your involvement, your investment uh, in the county. So so tell tell me what else that your life of people know about you. People should know that I am very committed to completing a job um, and understanding what's going on. I'm not as vocal as um, some people may or may not. When I say I'm not vocal, I'm not a big talker, but I am a strong listener and I do the work. I do the work in the background. I research and get to the people I need to get to. I think if I became a member of the Board of County Commissioner, one of my first mission is to get to know the people that can that I need to be the bridge between whether it's the school board or whether it's the senators or whoever I need to know. That would be my first task to get to know those people and find out how do I who are my resources? Who can I um, who can help us get to where we're trying to go? Also, getting to know the other county commissioners the way that is necessary for us to work as a team, because though we're running sometimes against each other right now, um, we are going to become team teammates and and we're going to you know, whether we're a Democrat or Republican, we got to work together. So I'll get to know them and what's important to them as well. Then the people that they are communicating with, I'd like to be able to put my input. My input comes from the community that I spend my time around. Um, and then we can collaborate and come together and try to find solutions versus um, division. But I'd like to, I'm that person that I think can bring us all together or at least try to. Um, about me, just in general, I'm a hard worker. I, I mean, I obviously, you know, I'm a business owner in this community and that's hard. Um, but I work hard to get things done. So if you don't know me, nothing else, you know, I'm a hard worker. And so. All right. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you. All right. Listen, God bless each and every one of you again. Uh, I've had the opportunity to talk to Carissa uh, Graves Henry, and uh, she is running for county commissioner. And don't forget, November the 5th, we need you to vote. Uh, Senator Raphael Warnock says that a vote is a prayer. So voting is both secular and, in a sense, sacred because God made human government and we are at our best when we participate in all that God has made. So therefore, it is your civic responsibility and I would say your spiritual obligation to go out and vote. And listen, consider uh, Ms. Graves Hendry. She is a hard worker. You heard her. If you have any other questions for her, want to get in touch with her, last thing, what do they do? So uh, you can always go to my website is www.carissagraves.com. Um, you can also find me on Facebook at Carissa Graves for Alamance County Commissioner. Um, and of course, you can always reach out to me. My personal number, 336-213-9745. I am looking for volunteers for day of election to um, to. So if you're interested in any of that, of course, I definitely need help. We need to go out and win, not just on the local level, but on, uh, you know, voice our opinion on the uh, federal level as well. All right. There you have it. Listen, God bless you. Have a good day. Remember, God loves you. So do I. Vote. <laughs>